Bay City is my hometown. So I call myself a homecomer. I'm one of those people that go and experience the world and live elsewhere. Later on, once my husband and I were starting a family and thinking about the quality of life, we really wanted to move back to Michigan. I agreed to come to the building as a, a favor to the bank, and I had only started my own development firm six months prior. I was doing an adaptive use of a newspaper building around the corner at the time. As a female real estate developer, I don't often ever take my husband with me to meetings, but I took him to that one because he's an architect and engineer by training. I was like, just see a tension rod, find a structural issue. It, it really backfired. He fell in love with the building and wouldn't leave me alone. When we redevelop a building, we're, we're sending a message to the community that it, it's worth investing in and that we believe in the future of the community and that we're willing to make that long-term investment in the next 50 years. We want to create an ecosystem with places to work for entrepreneurs to start up businesses. A redevelopment project in particular, the most challenging thing is always taking old historic buildings and fitting HVAC systems into them. <laughs> I mean, trying to worry about where the historic trim work is and not affect really the character of the building, but also being really creative about how we maximize and utilize space to update them and give them another 50 to 100 years is, is the most challenging thing. The most rewarding thing is definitely when you're sitting at a table in your downtown and you hear someone talking about how amazing a building is behind you, you have no idea that you're sitting there and watching people's reaction to the change in such a positive way. Um, that's definitely the most rewarding thing. The MEDC and the State Historic Preservation Office, they were both phenomenal resources and I think they really open their arms to emerging developers and anyone who wants to learn and anyone who really wants to invest in the community and that's phenomenal. We're really lucky to have that across the state.